Up next, a new congressional watchdog group report exposes a whopping $15 billion in congressional waste. Plus, former Vice President Joe Biden says the women's U.S. soccer team should be paid the same as the men's team. I think Biden's wrong. We're going to talk about it next. Stick with us. Our news from the Hill story tonight, a congressional watchdog group has exposed $15.3 billion in congressional waste as earmarks have made their return to Washington, D.C. Despite a supposed ban on the practice, Citizens Against Government Waste released its annual pig book that tracks wasteful spending. In the report, they reveal more than 280 earmarks that are costing taxpayers a total of $15.3 billion dollars. This is a 22% rise from 2018. One of the most tangible successes of the Tea Party movement was stopping earmarks in Congress, yet this practice has crept back into existence and it's costing us taxpayers money. So how do we stop this once and for all? With me now to answer this question, Director of Communications for Citizens Against Government Waste, Curtis Kalin. Curtis, thanks for joining me. Anytime. Thanks a lot. All right. Good work you guys, on you guys for uh, discovering this $15.3 billion. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but this is per year. This is annually, correct? That is right. That was in fiscal year 2019. And that is absolutely horrifying. It's not only bad to think of $15 billion being spent total, but every single year, year after year, um, 280 earmarks. It's increased again by 22%. What changed to cause this increase? Well, really, it's, it was a 4% increase in the number of earmarks and 22% in terms of the money. Uh, what changed is really what didn't change. Uh, Washington Swamp is still a swamp, and uh, they found this way to appropriate money uh, behind closed doors, uh, plus up certain funds in certain departments, and then call the departments and say, hey, look, I gave you more money than the budget asked for. Do my specific program, fund my specific program, and that is that goes around the budget procedures, which are supposed to be based on merit. And that's why earmarks are so bad. All right, that's so shady too. And people on both sides of the aisle, government mm -hmm. officials, elected officials on both sides of the aisle do this. This is not just a Democratic thing or a Democrat thing or a Republican thing. This is both people. Can you give me some examples of what some of these earmarks are? And I almost laugh asking this because I know our viewers, I read some of these examples. They are ridiculous. They are, they are pretty absurd. Uh, one of our favorites is the $13 million for wild horses and burrows. That's to manage those, apparently. Uh, $9 million for fruit fly uh, management. Um, about $800,000 for brown tree snake eradic eradication in Guam. Um, and, but then, in terms of the total money, those are, I mean, $13 million is a lot of money. However, the big money, I'm talking billions of dollars, are in, unfortunately, the Pentagon. Um, we have $1.8 billion for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, which I think we all saw last week uh, fly over Washington. Um, this is a program that's $200 billion over budget, eight years behind schedule. Um, and the lifetime acquisition costs for this one program alone could top $1 trillion. And Congress decided, no, let, let, let's have a couple more of those planes uh, instead. So yeah, really outrageous stuff. It really is outrageous stuff. It's also hard to hold particular elected officials accountable for this uh, because their names are not attached to it, correct? That's right. They actually used to be from 2008 to 10. Uh, members of Congress were required to put it in the back of a, the appropriations bill, the spending bill. Uh, their name, what the amount of money is, and what it was for. They don't have to do that anymore because they say, we're not doing it. Um, taxpayers and uh, watchdogs like us know better, uh, but because they say that they're not doing it, they don't have to track it. And so it falls to us to say, well, here's the money that was spent, but really we don't know who, uh, who directs this money uh, except when they brag about it. And there are some senators and congressmen who are dumb enough to brag about <laughs> it, but most don't. 
Right. Well, this is also textbook corruption. I mean, it's the idea of, you know, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. That's exactly what these people are mm -hmm. doing. And by people, I mean, that's what our elected officials in Congress, in the Senate are doing. Yet it's our money that they're spending. It's our money that they're wasting. It's our money that they're using as this pseudo legal form of bribery to get what they want. Curtis, mm -hmm. how do we put a stop to this? Uh, the best way to put a stop to it is to is for both uh, chambers of Congress to enact a permanent earmark ban into law. Right now, what we have is rules, effectively informal agreements in both chambers uh, that they won't earmark or they don't want to earmark. Uh, but those are just informal rules. It's kind of like a, a it's kind of like a, a Pinky promise, frankly, uh, that they won't earmark, and of course they have been. What needs it to be is needs to be written in law that you can't do this stuff. And the corruption is completely true. You mentioned that. I mean, back about 10, 15 years ago, you had members of Congress going to jail because they were doing using earmarks in a corrupt way. This is a corrupt system, and of course, yeah, legalized bribery to get people to vote for bills they don't even believe in. That's just wrong. Every taxpayer dollar is sacred and should be treated that way. Right. It's, in my opinion, it's kind of a betrayal of voters. It's, it's a betrayal of voters to abuse taxpayer money in the way that they are. I know that this is not a very mm -hmm. popular topic among elected officials on either side of the aisle, but voters should push their elected representatives to enact legislation to ban earmarks because this number was flabbergasting. This is a number that you guys found, Citizens Against Government Waste. Since 1991, Congress has approved more than 100,000 earmarks that cost so you guys ready for this? Cost nearly $360 billion. That's insane. It really is flabbergasting. Um, and we have we, we actually created uh, the pig book back from 1991, and we've done 27 pig books in that time, and that's where that number comes from. It really is a flabbergasting number. You got the all-time bad ones like uh, the Bridge to Nowhere. You have indoor rainforests in Iowa. You have teapot museums uh, down in the Carolinas. I mean, so tons of bad stuff. And the problem now is that we don't even know who's appropriating that money now. And we right. know that the funds have been increased but we don't know where and why. Right. And anytime you hear a politician say that we need to raise taxes, we need, the government needs increased revenue to pay for, you know, whatever their pet project is, X, Y, and Z. You mm -hmm. know what? This is a lot of money. And if you have a project that you want to fund, maybe you should use this money instead of wasting it on teapot museums and, you know, a qu fruit fly quarantine programs, because that seems to be a waste of my very hard earned money. Curtis, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for exposing this waste.